Hi guys, a very warm welcome to the channel and my first product review. I've had this for about four weeks now and the big questions are, is it the ultimate kitchen gadget? Is it worth the money or is it just a glorified blender on steroids? So this is my quick and honest review of the Thermomix TM6. So firstly to all subscribers, welcome back. And if you're not a subscriber, do consider subscribing because it does help me a lot and I really appreciate it. And if you do subscribe, leave a comment so I can thank you. Right, let's move on and crack on with the review. So firstly, you may be wondering what is this and what is it capable of doing? Basically, it's a cooking robot. It's like having your own sous or commie chef and it'll cook you your, your meals from scratch making it easy or easier for me because i'll get tongue twisted it can do so much stuff so i'm going to put it up on the screen now amongst other things what this tm6 can do to help you in the kitchen here we go so basically what all of that means is you can easily cook from scratch no processed stuff or fresh ingredients so it makes scratch cooking for me much less of a chore much more fun much more enjoyable so let's move on and see what you get and all the accessories what you get for your money firstly up on contestants row is the simmering basket it acts as a splash guard or also you cook rice and uh, similar in it so that's the uh, simmering basket next this is a pretty common item in most kitchens it's a butterfly whisk so this will do all your doughs your pastries it'll knead it'll mix it will uh, whip up egg whites and that kind of stuff so yeah that's the butterfly whisk this is simply a splash card which you place on top of the bowl when you're not using your measuring cup on the top here we have the varoma tray there's two layers to it that's the lid Typically you'd steam stuff like broccoli and your vegetables there and um, you'd put your parceled fish like salmon or sea bass or anything similar to that. So it's just the steaming levels for the, uh, the machine so that all stores in your cupboard quite nicely. Now I felt it quite important to mention this, this isn't included with the TM6 accessories, it is a blade cover. Now one of the reasons I brought the TM6 is one of its functions is you can sous vide cook with it. And without this blade cover, you can't sous vide cook. It's £20, and why they didn't include it in the uh, package, I'll never know, but it definitely goes down to negative. So if you are thinking of buying the TM6, you're going to have to add the blade cover on with the price, I'm afraid. So yeah, that's definitely a negative for me. Next up is the Simple Ideas Cookbook. Um, as a foodie, obviously, I own a lot of cookbooks. I, I think compared, this saying it's chucked in, thrown in with a of a piece of kit it's well illustrated the photos are really clear it's a good thing to get you started uh, i definitely like this book it's definitely a good addition so let's move on and have a look at the functions on the machine next i'll show you the bowl obviously this is where you do all your cooking so you've got your lid and the measuring cup pops off as well take this off inside you have a really really sharp uh, blade put get your fingers anywhere near that it's got its own cleaning function which pretty much does the trick saves you from doing it if you do want to give it a better clean the bottom screws off the blade pops out and you've got pretty much free access so yeah pretty cool i think it is anyway next is the main display now when you fire this up it will take you to the bring you to the um the chop or the food processor screen so you've got your blade speed there your timer there you can swipe to the right and these are most of the functions so the scales dough turbo pre-clean which i just spoke about the blender egg boiler kettle it'll keep things warm it'll thicken the rice cooker function is fantastic on it i've cooked rice a few times with it in my manual way of cooking rice i can't even get get close to it. it's fantastic now on my channel i do have a, a rice instruction video part of me wants to take it off because this is so much better but not everyone's got one of these so swipe along again you've got the fermentation mode which you can cook yogurt and stuff like that uh, the slow cooker mode which i'm yet to use but i will be using this uh, later on in a week and the sous vide mode which we spoke about earlier with the blade cover next is the interactive part of the machine now i wouldn't even consider buying this unless you have wi-fi 
but you won't be able to connect to Cookie Do. Me personally, I think Cookie Do is the best part, one of the best parts about this machine. It's an online recipe book with over 40,000 recipes. You can either cut your own recipe or use Cookie Do. It's a step-by-step -step online thing. It's absolutely foolproof. So let's just have a quick look, just randomly. So let's just say you wanted to cook some flapjack with the kids. So let's search. Get my sausage fingers on the go. Let's start cooking. Preheat your oven, blah de blah de blah, and step by step. Place unsalted butter. Now I'm not going to cook anything on this review. I'm going to finish this review and I'm going to do a beef madras. We all like a ruby mummy, so that's how I'm going to show you actually how this thing works, but I don't want to do it at the same time as the review. Now a big washing up saver is this thing actually weighs as you add ingredients. You can see it going up, so sensitive as well. So I think this is also a great addition. Now of course with all most modern technology, all of this is linked to your smartphone. So you can search the Cookie Deal app on your phone and um, add what you want to eat or whatever and it will link up with your Thermomix. So for example, I'll click my week. So what are we having tonight? As I said, I'm doing a beef madras. I've also got to make the madras curry powder in the machine too. Um, on Thursday, we're having pulled pork and cider rolls, which sounds beautiful. The wife has chosen that one. Uh, on Friday, we're actually having a breakfast burrito. So that sounds fun and no more plans after Friday. So we'll will work from there. So it's it, it can really, really get you organized really well. It can make your life a lot easier. Now in the UK, for now, it's linked up to Tesco and Ocado, but as yet, no plans for Sainsbury's, unfortunately. That's where we got our shopping. Now, of course, this won't do absolutely everything for you. When it comes to baking, you still have to bake cakes in the oven and bread in the oven, but it will brown meat off, not as well as it would in a frying pan, but it'll, it'll still do that. But there are still thousands and thousands and thousands of recipes on Cookie Do where you cook 100% of your meal in this machine. Now, before I do come out of this interactive part, let's just touch on how easy this is to help you get organized. Go to Creative Collections, and we created a collection for Christmas. So this is everything we did in the Thermomix for Christmas. So we made the bread sauce 100%. We made homemade butter, homemade bread, hot chocolate, marmalade, mar marmalade glazed ham is yet to come. The sticky toffee puddings were steamed and were absolutely amazing. And the white finger rolls were really, really nice too. It makes some mean cocktails. The uh, frozen strawberry daiquiri is particularly one of my favorites. Right, okay, unfortunately the negatives, and there are a few. The first one is only a little niggly one. You could, you could say I'm little, being a little bit fussy, but there's not really that much surface area on the bottom of the jug so when you are browning things like browning the fillet steak for the beef stroganoff there's not much room at the bottom of it really so you, sometimes you do have to put that do that in batches the second one is again it's niggly i didn't include this with the um, accessories that this is a spatula which will fit down into your jug but won't hit the blade because the stopper's there and it can be sometimes a little bit tricky to get your uh, remove your food out after you've made your meal but again it's been really really fussy you do get there in the end everything's not perfect now one of the biggest gripes i've got with this machine with this machine does involve my favorite part which is cookie do now it's 30 pounds a year to subscribe to cookie do you get i got an eight month uh, free trial so mine mine's due in june but i think you pay quite a lot of money for them well a lot of money for the machine which i will get to but I think you, you, just to look at an online recipe, you're hardly downloading gigabytes worth of data. Um, you, you're not streaming Netflix, for example. So I, I just think for them to charge you £30 a year, it's just a little bit of a, I don't know. You don't have to really, but it is what it is. £30 a year, so that might just put you off. Right, the biggest thing, is it a negative? I thought it was a negative at the start could be a negative for you, it could be a negative for anyone, is the price of the machine. Now, I don't want to say it aloud, so I'm gonna put it on the screen now. Yes, wow, it's an absolute huge, uh, it's a huge pot of money to pay out, but I'm gonna give you a few reasons 
why I actually think this is definitely worth the money. So the million dollar question is, do you really need this? Well, I think I've already answered that during this review. Um, it's, there's, I'm no way affiliated with Thermomix. Um, not at all, but there's not many days I don't use this where I don't, I don't get the wow factor. Example, I now cook my steak sous vide style. It's, it cooks steaks perfectly. All you've got to do is quickly flash them in the pan. While you're flashing your, pates, your steaks in the pan, I made a quick Bernays sauce on the side. And as you know, Bernays sauces, they need attention. They could split because of the ingredients in them. The ingredients can separate. But while I'm flashing my steak in the pan, my little robot, my sous chef, commis chef, whatever you want to call it, is cooking my, my Bernays sauce. It's emulsifying it, it's doing everything. It will make the perfect dish time after time after time after time. I could get the same dish, um, a 10 year old could get the same dish, Gordon Ramsay would cook the same dish in the Thermomix and it would turn out, as long as you follow the, the, the idiot proof instructions, it will turn out exactly the same because it cooks things to the perfect temperature. And that's for these reasons why I think that this machine would benefit a poor or average cook more than it would a, a good cook. It makes a good cook slightly better in some areas, a lot better in other areas, but it, what it does do is save a good cook a lot of time. An average cook or a poor cook, it just brings your cooking right up to a really, really high standard. Now, as I said, because it cooks exactly the same, no matter who the cook is, does this take a lot of the fun out of cooking? Uh, does it remove some of your individual flair as a cook? Um, yes, in some ways it does, but I can, we can all add parts of flair in different parts of the kitchen with pan frying, sauteing, etc, etc. Um, it is still fun following step-by-step -step instructions and it's definitely hassle-free, stress-free. Could this de-skill you as a cook? Again, yes, maybe slightly, because it does a lot of chopping, the same as a food processor does, so I think you, you could lose some of your knife skills and some of your pan skills if you don't keep up and keep cooking things on the cooker now and again, but it's, it's solely up to you, I think. Once you get into using this thing, you don't really want to <laughs> really cook another way, and that's for a foodie, that's a tough thing to say. Another good reason, which the wife particularly liked, is all your cooking gadgets like a... Uh, uh, food processors, uh, bread mixers, scales, all sorts of stuff like that. All they've, all, all those have gone for me. They've been sold, and which has uh, created lots and lots more cupboard space. So, do you need a TM6? Is the question. Absolutely yes. If it's within your budget, get one. Order one now. It is a complete kitchen game changer. Right, that brings me to the end of my first product review. I do hope I covered everything you were wondering about and if there's something I didn't cover, don't hesitate to leave a comment in the comment section. I will gladly answer it. Um, if you don't already subscribe, do consider subscribing. I really appreciate it. There'll be a little, well, quite a little bit more TM6 content to come, but also lots more regular content too, so don't worry about that. Now I'm off to cook my beef madras, my ruby murray. I will be filming that and uploading it pretty much soon after this video. So again, hope you enjoyed it. Keep safe, keep well, and I will see you next time. Thanks for watching.